Good morning, everyone. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas! So, it's currently 11.03 a.m. I've been up for a little minute. But my sister is still asleep. So, I just put on my Christmas PJs. I did my hair. I kind of put it like in this top knot kind of thing. I'm kind of liking it. I've been liking how top knots. Top knot. Top knots. Top knots. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but how they look in my head, so, um, yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do, oh, what I got for Christmas. I would have filmed this video yesterday, but I had a Christmas party to go to and we were running late because I let my mom do my nails. So this is what they look like. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. This is probably like the sixth, seventh, fifth, or what I got for Christmas that I've done in a row. So yeah, let's get right into it. I don't really have much to say besides a Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful, happy holidays. And if we don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a wonderful Hanukkah or Kwanzaa and any other of these celebrations that you celebrate because I don't know any other ones off the top of my head and I'd love to get educated on them if you celebrate any other ones. So yeah, let's get into it get into its clothes so for clothes i got these bras these are some pink bras these are just what they look like um you know just typical i got two of them and then on top of that i also got some underwear and i got these these are what they look like these are in a size small and these are the um i have extra small and small and these are the hipster um i think these are the hipster ones but i'm gonna double check I don't want to say it's this is that cut and it's not so yeah these are the hipster um underwear and I got these ones these are red then I got these ones as well these are like a mauve like purple bluish and then on the back it says so chill so chill so chill and then on the band all of them says love pink then I also got these ones these maroon ones um, these are hipster as well, and then on the back it says BU, and then also I have these ones. These are really cute. I think these ones are my favorite, and these ones are the. I don't think these ones are hipster at all. These might be. Oh, these are also hipster, but they look like the boy shorts a little bit. But this is what they look like, and then they just have silver dots all over, polka dots on them, and then it just says pink going all around. And then last but not least, also got these pair. And these are hipster as well, and they're just purple, white, and black with butterflies on them, and they're just really cute. So that's what I got when it comes to underclothes. I also got leggings. I have three pair of leggings. I got this pair, of this pair, and then I have a, gen a denim pair, but I wore them yesterday to the Christmas party. And these are from Old Navy. These are from the kids section, and these are in size large. These didn't cost much. They were literally $5. If you know anything about me, I love my Old Navy leggings, and I stand buy them by all means if you ever want to get some good quality leggings please go to old navy and save your coin because they their leggings are fantastic and you can never go wrong with these so i got socks for christmas i have these are also from old navy and these are just the fashion socks these are a size medium and these are in the kids section because i have kids size feet so these are from, fits the shoe sizes from 13 to 3 um three so i got these ones which are multi-colorful i got like a black and gray pair in this bundle and in this bundle i just got all white socks um as y'all know i'm home from school I'm from college at the moment so i didn't like i don't typically bring a lot of underwear and stuff because i have a lot of underwears and socks here but also because i tend to get a lot of that for christmas every year so it's just something that i never trip um bring a lot home because it just be pointless and then I got this outfit. This is a sweatsuit from the DKNY. I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, and from DKNY Sport. And I just got this. It's just black, and then it has like silver and gold lettering, and it just says DKNY Sport. And it's the logo. And then I also got the pants. That's what it looks like. And then just have lining all on the side. Um, but I'm getting the pants taken back because they're just, um, too big. They're, um, this is a small, it was, it was just too big around the waist, so hopefully they have an extra small. But when it comes down to clothes, that is everything that I have. So for this next section, we're going to go over, um, sprays and everything. 
all the sprays that I've got because I feel like this would be easier. So the first spray I have is Victoria's Secrets Bare Vanilla. Um, I got like a small bottom of a bottle last year, like in like because this Victoria's Secret sells like sets and like around Christmas time, and I got one and like a whole bunch of sets. But I had the small bottle and I used it all, and I love this scent so much. It smells so good, and I'm, I'm get really bad migraines, so like certain scents, scents triggers me. So this is just one scent that I love that does not trigger me. But this is just Bare Vanilla by Victoria's Secrets, and it. It smells so good and then I also got a Victoria's Secret like fragrance set like I was just talking about how like these bottles are like really tiny if you look at them like this bottle is 4.2 fluid ounces but the big bottles are 8.4 fluid ounces so it's like half but I got pear seduction you know this is a staple Victoria's Secret scent everybody pretty much know but um pear seduction smells like but then I also got velvet petals I don't think I've ever had this scent but and this is what came in. I just have two scents. I have a lot of um, perfume and stuff. But these are also comes with the perfume and the lotion. So I'll probably just keep these sets. Like one in my purse and one in my car. One in my purse and one in my backpack. You know. So I can always have smell goods on me. And then I also went. Um, well, I didn't win, but this is my mom's. It was really old, but when me and my sister was Christmas shopping, we found this scent, and it smelled just like my grandma, and we was going to go back and buy it, but my mom has had this White Diamonds Elizabeth Taylor gift box set, and for the longest, I mean, when I say the longest, I mean years. Like, this was here before, maybe a little bit before I was born, or a little bit after, and I'm about to be 21, so it says a lot. Um, but... Um, this scent smells so good. So within this box, it came with two white diamond perfumes, like a small one and a big one. I got the big bottle. My sister, she took the small bottle. And it smells so good. This is going to be my new favorite scent. This is that old lady scent, but it it smells really good. Um, if you want, you can get like a bigger bottle or I think they sell like a bigger bottle than this. When I looked at the price, it was $43. But this smells so good. It reminds me of my grandma. And this is what the bottle looks like. It looks so cute. And it has like these little like fake crystals and stuff. And it looks really cute. And I, I love the bottle. It looks so classy. And very timeless. So this has been my go-to scent. It's only been a couple days. But it smells so much like... It just gave me so much nostalgia. Like I just love it. And then also in this set. Because I don't feel like taking out what comes with... Uh, body wash and a body lotion. I probably won't really use the body wash because um, I have kind of sensitive skin a little bit and that would just break me out. And plus body, like, um, scented body wash is really not that good for you. But I probably use this perfume lotion, like, for my hands or something to keep in my car, my backpack, or my purse, if so needed. So that's everything that's, like, scent-wise. So let's go more into, like, miscellaneous, like, book, like, school kind of side. So the first thing I got is the... Bridgerton, the Viscount who loved me. Um, this is the second um book in the Bridgerton series. There's eight of them. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, then you will know that I read the first book, which is called no, it's called The Duke and I. I'm sorry, and it was really really good, and I loved it so much that I begged my sister to buy me the second book, or actually I begged her to buy the whole collection, but they didn't end up having it. So she bought me the second book in the series because she's the first, because she bought me the first book at her job. She seen this, so she bought it for me, and I. Read it and I fell in love with it and I called her immediately when I finished the book like that book was so good like OMG and like so now I'm gonna read the second book because there's eight um um brothers and sisters in the Bridgerton story so each sibling has their own book so the first book was focused on Dan Fee now this book is gonna focus on Anthony and I'm so excited to read it because it's gonna be good and then I also got some shoes so this is what um it is it's just some Nike um, and I got these ones. They're just all white with the black Nike street check. And these are really cute. I like them. But unfortunately, they're in a size 3. And they're not too big. Like, I can definitely wear them if I wanted to. But I'm going to take these back. Have my mom take these back and get a smaller size. Because I love them. If y'all know anything about me. Ever since the pandemic started and we was in quarantine, I've been wearing the heck out of my all white Air Force ones. So to the point, they're so dirty and I refuse to clean them. Because, like, I feel like it's just 
gave them another edge to them. And, you know, that's kind of surprising because anybody know me, like, I used to be, like, a huge sneakerhead. And I used to be, like, no, all white Air Force ones. Like, who didn't say get dirty, you got to clean up. But now, like, I'm a little messy. But these are really cute, but these are in a size 3. And they just, just a teensy one, see too big. So, I'm going to see if I can get these in a smaller size or just get another shoe. Um... Um, this, I got is some Apple Pencil tips. I know this is really random, but I bought an iPad and an Apple Pencil about a year ago. And I never changed the tip. I didn't know that like, the chips had to be changed. But if you look at my tip, like, it's done. There is no tip. So, I just put this on my Christmas list to see, just because to buy some. Um, it comes with four in the pack. And you just, it's really easy to just take it off and um, screw off the old one, screw on the new one. So, I'm really excited to use these. And then, the biggest thing that I got is, is the MCAT Complete 7 book subject review for 2022 to 2023 for the MCAT. And this is by Kaplan. This book set was like $188. And I think it just so happened to be on sale. But in this set, it comes with the MCAT Behavioral Science Review, the MCAT Biochemistry Review, the MCAT Biology Review, MCAT Critical Analysis and Reasoning, Reasoning Skills Review, the MCAT General Chemistry Review, MCAT Organic Chemistry Review, MCAT Physics and Math Review. And... Yeah, and it comes with books, online, and three practice tests. So, yeah. Second to last gift in that part is going to be this. I got, this is in this bag. This is from Kate Spade. Inside here is some earrings. I picked them out, so I wasn't surprised about them. My sister bought these for me. And let me tell y'all, Kate Spade got some really nice stuff in there. Definitely going to start shopping Kate Spade because I thought, in my head, I thought Kate Spade was a lot more expensive than I thought it was, but it's really not. So I got these um, Disney Minnie Mouse slash Kate Spade New York earrings. Um, this is kind of what they look like. So that's what they look like. It's not really focused, but they're really cute. And I can't put them on. Like, what? like look at that. Like, yeah. <laughs> Period. They were, like, so cute. And my sister bought her friend, like, these circle ones. And they're so freaking cute. And I'm just going to keep it in this bag because this bag is so pretty. And it's pink. It matches me and my aesthetic. And, yeah. Alrighty. And the last part, let's get into the bag. Well, I only have one bag this year, but it's a good bag. So, I have this big, old, like, never full micro chorus bag. It's like this beige, light pink color, like a nude pink color. What kind of purse is it called? So, it's called the micro chorus Gilly. The powder blush LG draw drawstring travel tote, and this and this is a le leather. The original price is four hundred and twenty-eight dollars. I don't know how much my sister spent on it, but I don't think it was four hundred and four hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Knowing her, um, cause yeah, I don't think she really spent that much money on it. I'm pretty sure she got it somewhat on sale, but this is what it looks like. It has like these thingies on the side where you can like adjust these or you can make it as loose as you want or you can make it as tight as you want on the side um and then it has these pockets on this side and the same thing on the other side is also these pockets and then on the inside this is what it looks like um it has two pockets like on this side right here and it has one zippable pocket on this side and it also has like the micro course care card and it teaches you how to care for your bag and everything so yeah and i love this because i wanted a bag where i could put my laptop and stuff and everything in it you know how people are with their telfar bags and they put their stuff in it i wanted to be able to put like my laptop and my ipad and stuff in here like so when i go to school i don't always have to carry my backpack sometimes i'm gonna switch up and you know this makes me feel like a material girl okay period and i could be like a material girl but yeah, um, this is everything I got for Christmas. It was a very, very small and downsized Christmas. If you guys are used to watching my what I get for Christmas, and usually I get a lot more stuff. But you know, we're me and my sister are getting older, and my parents just feel like there's no need for us to have big this much Christmas. So we just really are downsizing on Christmas. And before y'all know it, y'all, I'm gonna be a full grown adult. I'm finna graduate college in a year from now. Um, I would be like getting into that level of my own adulthood and so yeah um it was a really small but very thankful christmas um although i got a lot of small stuff i know a lot of this stuff still costs a uh, very lots and lots of money especially 
like my purse and the MCAT books and I got a lot of stuff that is gonna like last me a long time and I'm so grateful for it that I have people who would like to spend money on me and get, get, give me gifts that they know would make me happy and the same thing back in return and I just hope everybody had a wonderful um, Christmas and got everything that they wanted or ever needed in life and hopefully that you got to spend the holidays with friends and family um i know i got to so i hope the same was for you um but until then i see you guys in the new year i love you all and thank you so much for another year of what i got for christmas and all the support and let's see what the year 2022 is gonna bring off us bye be safe and be positive i love you all